Alright guys, my name is Thomas Passy and today we're going to be building a semi-aquatic enclosure for this fishing spider that I bought at the White Plains Reptile Expo. Some people say this species is the largest true spider of the United States. Alright, so here I have the spider that we're working with today. This is the Oak Finoki Fishing Spider. The scientific name of this spider is Dolomedes Oak Finocensis. Here we can see the underside of her body. She's a very big spider and I want to say she's about 4 to 5 inches big. Alright, so as substrate in the enclosure we're going to be using cocoa husk. And this is going to retain moisture well and we don't need too much of it because the fishing spider isn't going to be doing any digging. Instead of digging, it's going to spend its time on the water or near it. So we're going to use this bowl to hold all the water in the enclosure. Right here, there's two pieces of bark that we're going to use to provide hides for it. And finally, we're going to add some leaves so that the spider feels more secure in its enclosure. Alright, so the first step is adding the substrate. We're just going to dump in this whole bag and spread it around the enclosure. Alright, so now we put in the substrate, it's time to add this big water bowl. I'm going to move some of the substrate so I can dig the water bowl into it. Alright, so you can see that this water bowl takes up much of the enclosure. And that's okay with this spider because they spend their time hanging out by the water. So this enclosure is recreating that. Now it's time to fit in these two pieces of bark. I'm going to put this big round piece right here next to the water bowl where the spider can still climb up it but also it goes under so the spider can actually access the water from inside of the hide and outside of the hide. Here you can get a better look of what I'm talking about. Now I'm going to fit this piece in right here. It doesn't matter too much where it goes. I'm just going to give it some more places to climb. That seems good. And now it's time to add the leaves. I'm going to move this piece over here. Alright, so right here you can get a better look of how I set up the leaves in the enclosure. They look really good. Now it's time to add water to the enclosure and then finally the spider itself. I'm just going to go ahead and then pour this water in. It doesn't matter if it gets splattered across the enclosure, it's not really a big deal. Alright, perfect. That's the exact amount of water that I wanted. And now it's time to add this big guy in. Here you can get an idea of how big she is compared to my hand. Alright, so the first step in putting her into the enclosure is opening the lid. But I'm not going to take it out. I'm just going to open the lid and then put it inside the cage. Alright, I've got the spider right here and the enclosure right here. So I'm going to put this cup down here in this corner. I'm going to take out the top. And now she's ready to be taken out. Now, to take her out, I'm going to be using this snake hook. I'm just going to touch her gently and she's going to come out by herself. Alright, so I'm going in with the snake hook right now. From what I know, these spiders are pretty fast, but let's see. Oh, there we go. Scared me a little bit. I hope she doesn't run out, actually. I'm kind of scared now. I'm going to toss her. Okay. And into the leaves she goes. That's it. Pretty easy. Now I'll put the lid and the lock on the enclosure and we're done. Alright guys, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, comment your favorite part, and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you guys make your own enclosures, I want you to tweet me pictures of them. My Twitter is Thomas Passy, the same as my YouTube channel. If you guys want to see more care videos, I have a ton of them on my channel, so I recommend you go check them out. But that's it for this one. Thanks for watching.